to share with you all this makeup look that I created by using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Replica Palette that looks like this right here. This is what the packaging is going to look like but when you get it out of the packaging here is the replica palette. This palette is what was used to help to create the eye look in which you're seeing so if you want to know more on how this quality palette created this eye look that you're seeing then I suggest you keep watching the video and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later dolls. Starting out by priming the entire mobile area of my eye, blending up towards the brow bones using my fingertips. And then I'm taking my E104 AOA Studio Blending Brush with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish using this color as my base and transitional color to help my eyeshadows to blend more smoothly. I'm taking the same E104 Blending Brush and using the MAC Cosmetic Settle Brown to help separate the brow bone from my crease color by blending in a windshield type motion directly into the crease to help warm my eye up. So here's the palette, the fun part. I'm taking the first color called Puree and with the same E104 blending brush, I'm using this color to blend it into the crease. What I'm liking about this palette so far is the shadows are not chalky when applied and they seem to blend very, very smoothly. So with this E104 blending brush, oh, and it smells amazing, just like peaches. Going back, I'm now going to take my E112 AOA Studio Brush, which is more tapered, and I'm focusing in on that outer V. I picked up the color, color called Summer Yum, focusing in on that outer V, dragging it into the crease, going back in a windshield type motion, focusing in heavy on that outer V, and then dragging it back into the crease. This is what's going to help define the shape of my eyes. Once I complete this process, I'm then going to move into using the uh, color called Charmed, I'm sure. I'm only going to focus that in on the outer V. Here is where I really begin to define the shape of my eyes by focusing in only on that outer V, going in in a blending uh, windmill type motion, but sticking only on that outer V. And this color is called Charmed, I'm sure. So now to do a soft cut crease, I'm taking my concealer, which is my MAC Cosmetics NW35, and my concealer brush, and I'm just lightly outlining the shape of my eye. Now because I have a semi-hooded eye, I'm going a little bit above the hood shape of my eye, if that kind of makes sense. But I'm using my concealer, and then I'm going to take my fingertips and blend my concealer in. This is how a soft cut crease is used to create it by using some concealer and then using your fingertips just to blend the concealer. Now once I achieve uh, doing this part, I'm then going to take my fingertips and add the concealer the rest of the way. Notice how I'm only doing this halfway because I don't want a full cut crease. I'm going for a soft cut crease. And then I'm going to take my E113 flat shader brush and I'm mixing the just peachy with the candid peach and look at that color when it is applied. At first it was a little dull, but then I decided to wet my blending brush by using my matte thick plus and voila, so much better. The pigmentation is insane with this palette. I'm really am enjoying this palette. So I'm applying the two colors, just peachy and candid peach directly over where I placed the concealer. Then I'm a glitter girl. So I decided to take some glitter and there's no right or wrong way of doing this. I'm just randomly dragging the glitter over the entire area of my eye. Um, like I said, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. This is just some old glitter liner that I had laying around, but I really want this eye shadow to pop. So I decided to go with glitter, but this part is totally optional. So um, I'm also adding a little bit of gold right in my inner tear ducts. That's what's going to help open up my eyes with reflexive light. Once again, this part is totally optional. But off camera, I added my false eyelashes and wing liner. And now I'm moving into using my concealer, which is my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Absolutely love this concealer. Placing it underneath the areas of my eyes. And then with a Beauty Blender dupe that I purchased from my local Dollar Tree. Quickly going to blend that out. And using my Ben Nye Banana Powder to set underneath the areas of my eyes to avoid creasing done throughout the day. 
So now I'm gonna move into using my BR, ooh, not BR, my Black Radiant <laughs> Contour uh, Kit that comes with its own brush. Uh, now, I like contouring before applying my foundation. I know you've seen several and many of the YouTubers contour after they apply their foundation, but I'm very old school and I like doing the reverse highlighting and contour method in which you're going to see how it comes together for me. It gives me the most natural contour look. But first, I'm going to take some peach concealer from Pro Fusion Cosmetics just to cancel out that lurking shadow that seems to stay hovering right above my lip area. And with my Beauty Blender dupe, again, I'm just going to blend that out very quickly. And I'm going to take my LA Girl Perfecting Liquid Makeup. I kid y'all not, this is the exact dupe spot on for the Ultra um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So anyhow, I'm taking uh, my AOA Studio Face Blending Brush and here is where I begin buffing in everything all together. I'm going to avoid underneath the areas of my eyes because I want to do that last to maintain my highlighted look. But I'm going to blend my entire face together. As you can see it all come together, I'm then going to take the residue on the brush and gently pat underneath the areas of my eyes. That's what's going to help me maintain the highlighted look without it being overly highlighted. So moving forward, I'm now using my Love Beauty from Forever 21 Illuminating Liquid Highlighter. OMG. Wait till y'all see how this thing works right here. A little bit of this is definitely going to go a long way. Next time you in Forever 21, you can check for it where they sell their makeup area. Um, it's by Love Beauty and it's a liquid highlighter and it is absolutely freaking gorgeous and so easy to blend out but a little bit of it definitely is going to go a long way and when using this liquid highlighter make sure that your beauty blender is um, nice and moist so you can blend this out evenly and effectively and just do a little bit at a time so once I do the highlighting, I'm going to use my all-time fave Milani Cosmetics Rose De Rio Blush. A little bit of this goes a long way for me. I'm not much of a blush wearer, so I'm just using a tiny bit of it for a wash of color. Followed by my classic nude lip. And this pretty much just um, concluded the video. Not bad, Glam Dolls. I'm really loving this peach palette and I like how it came out to say it's a replica. I'm going to zoom in so you get a fair chance to see what it's looking like. And voila, not bad, huh? I'm absolutely loving this palette. Like I said, the quality is insane, not chalky when applied. But keep watching this video. I got another special message for you for some more information all about it. Hey Glam Dolls, I am so excited to have brought this video to y'all today to show y'all how when it comes to makeup palettes, you don't always got to break your bank just to achieve a fabulous look. This Too Faced replica palette did just that for me. I haven't experienced any type of irritation. I haven't had any breakouts or any problems with this palette as far as its quality or its pigmentation or any type of allergic reactions to it at all. It smells exactly like peaches and when I took it to the store to actually compare it to the authentic palette, I was blown away by its true quality. So I wanted to share this palette with y'all just in case any of you might be in the market looking to get a fabulous quality palette like the Too Faced palette that can give you the same type of quality pigmentation and color payout as the authentic palette would. So if you want to know more about this palette and actually where you can get it from, I am not able to post it here on YouTube because of guidelines and restrictions. However, you can always visit the Miss Glamour Ad Facebook page and on there you'll be able to see exactly where I got this palette from. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later dolls.